On today's show, Chris is back and he shows us a very, very simple technique to have this very, very effective bauble on your Christmas tree. But it's not just this one, no. You can, you can have them a little bit bigger, like that one, or like that one, or like that one. Stay tuned. Ho, ho, and Merry Christmas, everybody. Hello, Chris. Hello, Greg. Hi, everybody. Greg from Balloon Market here. <laughs> Welcome to BMTV. As you can see, Chris Horn is here, and we are celebrating Christmas, kind of. I um, thought we were going to do an Easter design. Not a funny joke. Not no. a funny joke. Anyway, anyway, Chris Chris is back from Amscan. Hello, Chris. Hi. How are you? Right, I'm before well. we do anything, I think we've got to take this tinsel off. It's, it's way too itchy. It's, I don't and, know. And yes. I think we're going to take the hats off as well because as much as I like being Christmassy, you know, heads get hot. <laughs> oh, right. Right. Oh, there we are. Right. Oh, right now. So, what are we going to make? Something Christmassy. Sounds like a plan, Sam. Yes. Uh, it's, it's something, it's really, I'm going to make baubles. Baubles. Aye, because you can't have Christmas without baubles, can I know. you? Well, you've seen our social um, post about baubles. Yes, um, I'm very impressed with that. It's yeah. really, really good. I thought it was really good as well. These are another variation of it. Just something that you can you can stick into your other designs. You know, just put a little cluster of baubles in there or hang them on a twig or, or whatever. Course, you the, can use them all over the place. There's the orbs as well, isn't there? Oh, the yeah. With the bit. That's, that's, yeah. They're, they're really can, nice. Yeah, like they those. are good. Yeah. Big. Um, they are big, yeah. Do some little ones. Okay, let's do little All ones. sorts of different things. So I have, I've found my marbles. <laughs> I lost them a while ago. I would, I, I, I would agree them. with that. Yeah. Um, because we're going to make baubles out of five inch okay. latex. Yeah. And because they're so light, they won't stay put. So we're going to use a little trick uh, with me. Where's your balloon next? I don't know. There, there, it there it is. Oh, there it is. There I it thought is. I'd fished that out before, but clearly not. A little trick by putting a marble inside it, which just gives it a little bit of weight. It doesn't have to be a just marble. Just one marble. Yep. Oh. It could, you could put you know, anything in there, really. But uh, marbles are easy to manage. I love marbles. Um, oh, me too. Um, but I sadly don't have any to play with anymore, just to use in here. But they look, they look good. Stick them in there. Stretch it open, drop your marble inside, and it just adds that little bit of weight to yeah. the thing um, when you're done. So I wanted a, to a gold top on this one. So 260, reflex gold, little bit of air in it, not much. We won't even need that much, but that's, that's fine. And we're gonna tie it off. This is... Um, Gee, because I've not seen this. So ah, yeah. I no, you haven't. This, this is a, well, it's just a really, really, really quick and simple way to create a bauble. So I'm going to inflate it a couple of times downside it so it's nice and round. This is the Sempertex Reflex Crystal Red, mm -hmm. which I think is beautiful. But is. any... these I bought a whole selection of, of colours. But, right, nice and round. Marble mm -hmm. gives it a little bit of weight. Then I'm going to tie this here, onto here, fairly loosely, so that I've got a little bit of, a little bit of give okay. there. Yeah. Don't need all these necks. Is there a reason for that? Yes. So I take those off there, like so. And then what I'm going to do is push that through there and grab it on the other side. No, I'm not. I'm going to push that through there and grab that on the other side oh, there. Yeah. That's what I thought. Uh, and that's why you need the, the stretch. Okay. Because otherwise this is going to get too tight and Let's not see. be the right shape. So push the knot in, grab it there, Yeah. twist, and that makes the top on your, the ah, bauble there. So clever. Cut the end here and use that end. Oh, that is so we wrap around there and push it in and the job's done. Oh, that is so awesome. It's really quick, really simple, really easy. So you can make loads of these ever so quickly. That is great. And add them in. It is, it's, it's a good one, isn't it? That is really, <laughs> that, really good. I'm that marble gives it away. Genuinely impressed, yeah. There you go. I mean, so, it's the shortest BMTV ever. Well, I'll do another one then, shall All I? All right, let's do another one. Let's do another one. Um, oh, ooh, that's not reflex, but I want to do a gold one with a silver top. Um, so yeah, I'll just quickly go through again. Then you won't have to use the rewind button. You can just watch it again. So in there and stretch it out. So you just really without Are you going to lose your marble? Through, I am again. <laughs> it's so easy. 
to lose, to your, lose your marbles. It is. Yeah. It is. I can't even get this on here now. It's just daft, isn't it? Why won't this go on? Anyway. Oh, that's, that's okay. okay. You need a, oh, what is it? I've got dropsy. That's another one that my, <laughs> my grandma used to say. You've got dropsy, you have. I don't know what it is, but okay. I had it a lot, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> right, it still didn't work very well, but I shall, I shall overcome that by inflating. So there we go. Now it's gone inside. So literally, but marble inside. Inflate the balloon, give it a squash so it's nice and round, puff of air into a 260, tie that off, inflate your balloon now to the size you want it, and because the beauty of it is you can make a whole range of different sizes of baubles yeah. and things, and then we're going to tie that onto here. leave it a bit of space that's so important to leave that little bit of space yeah. there because if you don't it makes it it makes pushing the, the knot through into the 260 really really hard and then through there i think that's probably one Grab of, hold of it. my favorite things has ever been shown on bmcb really? really yeah i really it's very it's cool just oh, no, so are. simple but so exactly like a bauble love yeah. it chris love it <laughs> well good thank you for that um I've got some under here that I did, because I always do a practice. I do like to do a practice. And I made these well over a week ago. Yeah. They have shrunk a little, yeah. but not a lot. So they, they are quite durable and they last well, the quite well. Well, the thing is, you, you can make different sizes anyway. Because that's, that's what you do on a Christmas tree. You put different sizes. Look at the size of that one. That's done with a 12 inch okay. instead of a five inch. Yeah. So you can do a whole range of different sizes. And then if you really want to, this one, is a 20 foot, no, is it 20 foot? No, it's an 18 inch reflex inside a green crystal clears to give that that shine and then a five inch apple twist on the top. So you can scale the whole thing up to, That's brilliant. and they are fun. You could literally add them to, to all sorts of designs. If you've got a wind, Christmas window display you want to do, they look fantastic there because you just hold a whole bunch, put a twig or something like yeah, that and dangle yeah. them off it. It's just a, a small, simple, addition to other things that have anybody they, can do really fast. Have these been around before? I've never seen these before, so uh, have I, I did just do, had my eyes closed? No, I did do them, I think I did them last year for something, just a design that I did, but I didn't make a big noise about it. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I did do baubles a few years ago. There's a picture um, that we've got and it looks stunning, but they used little gold cupcake cases on the top, which okay. they look great, but it's much more of a faff. Yeah, this is, is a very quick and easy way to create the effect that you want. So there you go. Chris, that is amazing. Thank you so much for this very, very short, very but short. I think <coughs> very impressive BMTV. As a guest on BMTV, you get to ask everybody the question of the week. What's it going to be? Oh, it'll be, um, well, I think it'll be, because I, I got asked last night, actually, um, what my favourite Sempertex colour is. Okay. And I couldn't narrow it down beyond reflex. Okay. But I'd be very interested to know if anybody out there has got a favourite Sempertex, but mine keeps changing depending on what's yeah. going on. Yeah. And that might have happened. Because you might have asked that question before, I can't remember. But I, um, I did, if you, I did you, I'm you sorry. Might have done. It's all right. Not I'm, I'm not criticising. I am not criticising. <laughs> but people's, people's favourite colours change with, they with do. the trends, with the weather. So there you go. Leave your comments down below on Facebook and on YouTube. What is your favorite color of Sempertex balloon? Chris, thank you so much. You're welcome. And thank you everybody for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon, you'll be notified every time we upload a new show. Stay happy, stay positive, and Merry Christmas. See Merry you soon. Christmas.